Hey everybody, we're going to be making our own album covers today. Now this could be for a band that you already enjoy, or it could be your own made-up band. We've included a list of different references of album covers, from pop to punk to hip-hop uh, to you name it. You could do any style that you wanted, but the first thing I want you to notice is that every album cover has the name of the band, the name of the album, and some type of design. So think about what you want to do, which band, which album, and what kind of design you want to do. Using your sketchbook and a pencil, go ahead and start to jot out some of those ideas. If you notice on the reference sheet, all of those albums are square. So think about your composition or the arrangement of how you're going to put the name of the band, the album, and your design, how are those going to fill in a square? So once you have those ideas in your sketchbook, what you're going to do is get this piece of cardstock paper and you're going to measure how long is this side. Measure the same measurement and cut off the excess. You want a square piece of paper to start. Now the reason why is so long ago, uh, people would listen to their albums on vinyl, and all of those were 12-inch squares. When we moved to a CD, then it was still a square, but it was a lot smaller. Now, what you do is you see the album cover on your phone, and when you do, it's usually still in a square format. So although it's changed in size from 12 inches to 5 inches to a single half inch by half inch, it is still a square style composition. So when you know the style of art that you want to do for your album cover, start to sketch it out in pencil first. Then you can use Sharpies to outline any sketch marks that you've made. And finally, add any color in with these Crayola markers. By the end, you should have your own masterpiece of an album. 